What's going on today, my ninjas? Before the video starts, I want to give a big shout out to Myron Fenderson and Hunter Reese for subscribing. You guys are amazing. Now today we're going to be reacting to some new Metro Exodus gameplay. I did a video on E3's demo and that was just completely mind blowing to see how far they come from the previous games, from their mechanics, to the enemy AI, the combat especially, the on the fly weapon customization and the crafting and gear which is going to be useful especially if you play the uh, last two entries of the game. You know, your gas mask and all that is very important. So to be able to do that on the fly. <laughs> Incredible. So without further ado, let's see what today's video has in store. Uh, so oh, that crossbow looking kind of juicy. Many different ways. You can, you can play, uh, you know, full, you know, guns blazing, or you can take the stealth approach. The game tends yep. to encourage that because it does become very difficult when you, when you go, you know, all out, uh, because it is a survival. They're game. showing off that ray casting. Um, okay. Plus, uh, we've added a lot of, uh, uh, you know, elements to the AI and Yo, uh, looking down the scope. Functionality of the game to yeah. make it a lot more robust this time around. So we've worked a lot on uh, communication uh, for AI so that it's a lot easier to understand what they're doing right. uh, without it being overt, without you know uh, bringing in HUD elements that are unnecessary, which is something that's kind of a staple of the series. We like to to you know keep really it clean. Immerse yeah. Yourself in the game and and and, and feel the, the realism of. They just getting destroyed out here. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of these things come together. We 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 tried to like really build on that uh, this time around to provide a lot more of a dynamic experience where you can uh, uh, adapt the way that you approach a scenario, and the game adapts to how you're uh, you know approaching depending on what you're doing, what the AI sees you doing, and you're able to uh, to kind of change that on the fly. Now we've yeah. seen we've seen some factions Yo. here. It's not just other factions you have to worry about. You Last year right. at E3, I remember uh, that was, was from this level. Right, and uh, we had the big the, the oh. bear that comes out at yeah. the end, and, and uh, he's back. He's in this level. He's scared. And, yeah. Nice open and, areas and, now. And it's it's uh, he's he's one of the one of the creatures. He's uh, you know in this level that uh, you know the player is gonna have to uh, encounter. Um, and uh, there's also I think uh, that know, damn bear. Right here, you'll, you'll see some. Uh, yeah, oh. there's some. Wolves. Oh oh so, shit. Yeah. So oh okay. Wolves, so you'll have to, to fight off. Um, yeah, fight off mutated deer. Factions are going to be just pure evil, as, as you would expect. You know, cool. this looks insane, guys. Nefarious you know, people nice that are, people. you know, out for no good. Yeah, right. uh, but some might not be. Some might be neutral. Some will react depending on how you. Oh. Them as well. yeah. so okay. The kind of adapts to how you play because we really want you to feel like you are entering the shoes of RTL and the main character and uh, assuming that role and deciding what type of person he is. Right. It looks amazing. Okay, so they were diving deeper into the um, player choices. Because in other games, you just, you know, either choose not to kill or kill somebody. But now it looks like they dove deeper into that. Well. Better wake the hell up for that uh that sea creature get you. I might have to play this on PC just so I can experience everything with the ray casting. Hold up. Uh uh Well, goodbye Fallout. Uh <laughs> Yo Was that giant? Yep, it's. That's gonna be scary trying to fight that at night. Oh my god, Metro Exodus pre ordered. Oh, so it's not coming to PC? Oh, it comes Steam. Okay, I see. Okay, from what we just saw, uh, I think I skipped something. I know I saw. I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure I just saw a giant, like, lobster. Okay, yeah, so it was real quick, but if you can see right here, you can definitely see some some giant ass like crabs or 
or lobster things, which is crazy. So they're adding a whole bunch of land and sea creatures to this game. And it looks great. They're really trying to show off that ray casting. And I see you. I see you, Exodus. Because they are legit coming for Fallout's neck in this game. Um, I know they're different, but, you know, it's just the similarities. You can't deny them. The game is much more open than all the rest of them. Even though they said that even though it's open world, it's not going to be like you can go anywhere you want to. It's just the areas that you go to are just going to be more open to exploring. If that makes sense. And 2019, I'm just gonna be broke as hell for the rest, just the rest of the year. As soon as the year starts, my funds are gone. But enough about that. Um, what do you guys think about the game? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for a shout out. And until next time, my ninjas, I'm out.